So we're going to talk a little bit about blockchain in your session. Um, we've all heard of the blockchain and the impact it could have on everything, but also in particular healthcare and health systems in the future. Um, but how many of us could really easily explain what blockchain is really about? Can you help us out with that? Yeah, sure. So it's not easily explained depending on what kind of use case you're using. But what, the way I like to explain it to people is it's a system which is going to remove the middleman. That's in essence what blockchain is. So the idea is if you go back to a famous case example, which is Bitcoin, if I'm sending you funds or money, we don't need a bank in between. And when we come onto health record systems, I don't need the GP, the general practitioner to authenticate my information. If you're the insurer and I'm saying these are what my health records are. The way the blockchain works is that as a community, we all have access to something called a ledger, which is essentially where we're recording this data. And each time a piece of information is added, we're adding a block onto this ledger. When you have many blocks, they form a chain, and it's called blockchain. What makes the system so strong is that everybody has this ledger, so everybody can identify each other's information to be correct, truthful, and that there's no error in it. If somebody's ledger gets changed, we have everybody else in the community saying, that's not what I have on mine, and that's the security of the system. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense to me now. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your blockchain session here at Hims Europe this week. Yeah, so w my session is playing with blockchain. Um, I think it's specific to healthcare itself, obviously being Hims. Myself and a few other international speakers have been invited to come and talk about it. I think we all have different approaches of how to use this technology. And I think that's the thing that people are now realizing is that when you talk about blockchain, try to replace the word blockchain with the internet. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, how do we use the internet? Well, compare it to when it was very, very slow and it was just to open websites. Now compare it to ordering your taxi, getting food, booking flights. It's the same thing with blockchain. You're talking about a technology which is still very young mm. and all of us are trying to see how could we utilize it and expand on that. Right. Oh, that's great. Uh, is it a panel or are you just speaking? Uh, I'm speaking and then it's a panel afterwards. Okay, I, great. I, I prefer the panel because the speaker, I'm used to giving my talks, right. but the panel, I like being challenged by the questions and hearing everybody else's thoughts as right. well. Well, and it sounds like for something like blockchain, you'll get a lot of different views, right? Definitely. Very good. So what has tech, the, the technology blockchain, has? what has it achieved to date for healthcare? For healthcare, it's been quite strong in the pharmaceutical industry. So for example, they are being able to track how medications are coming from the source and how they're getting all the way to the consumer's cupboard when they're using the painkiller or the antibiotic. There's quite a uh, expensive uh, industry in pharmaceutical or fake pharmaceutical drugs. And so using blockchain, they can prove the source and going all the way to the uh, individual themselves. In terms of healthcare in different areas, in Estonia, they're already employing blockchain technology in their healthcare system. And what we're trying to do with Medical Chain, m my company, is trying to do something similar for the UK and abroad. I see. All right. And so maybe you can answer this kind of still lingering question for us. Blockchain, is it hype or is it a game changer? Because we hear both sides of that argument yeah. all the time. I think, again, it depends on who is talking to you about it. I think if I was the one giving my presentation, you'd realize that it's a game changer. But if somebody else is giving a presentation, as you see on the internet quite often, they'll make out like it's the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> so, and then that's just too much hype. Right. You know, it's a technology which is a, in its infancy and it's continually being developed and it has its issues and those issues are being resolved as we go forward. It's similar to talking about AI. People make out that AI is going to revolutionize everything, maybe in 30, 50 years. But the way they make it out today is as if your toaster is going to become Terminator overnight. <laughs> We're not there yet. Yeah, as a, my brief foray into owning a Roomba and Alexa proved, yes. we're, we're not there yet. You're not um, there yet. I'm a little creeped out by Alexa, <laughs> but I don't think she's going to take over my house not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs>